May 10th, 2011, I uploaded my very first video to YouTube. Today, August 11th, 2024, 13 years later, I finally monetized. Now, of course, I already had the 4,000 watch time hours, so I've just been sitting and waiting for that 999 to roll up to 1,000, which came earlier this afternoon. I finally hit that 1,000 subscriber mark and was able to monetize and let me teach you all the tricks and how to do this in 13 years. No, obviously I'm kidding. It took me a long, 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 long time. There's many reasons why it took me such a long time to monetize. This is not going to be any sort of video teaching you how to get there. This is just going to be a little bit of a video where I wanted to kind of sit back and talk to you a little bit about the history of my channel and some of the ups and downs and things that I've gone through. So if that sounds interesting to you at all. Sit back and let me tell you a little bit of a story about how I started this channel 13 years ago. The very first video I uploaded was with my best friend and I really wanted to do skits, specifically horror skits. I knew, of course, I wanted to do some sort of horror themed video. That's always been a passion of mine. And I knew at some point I probably wanted to do reviews. So I called the channel Horror Views. I also set up a side channel called Direct Two Views thinking, hey, I'll do reviews of like direct to video movies and things like that. This was 13 years ago. I don't know exactly what I was thinking. And my friend set up a channel called Vidya Views, which we were going to try to, you know, do this sort of like combined studio type thing where he does video game content. I do non horror related content on one channel and horror related content on the other channel. I thought a good kickoff would be for us to do some funny skits. So the very first video we did is called Introduction to Destruction. No wait, that's a Sum 41 song, part one. I believe that was a three part video we did. I don't even remember what we did in the video, but that is still up on my channel. I didn't delete it. It's terrible. I do some stupid accents in there, but you know what? It's all part of the history of this channel, where I came from. And I love to watch those videos because it just reminds me of that time period. I had so much fun making those videos with my friend. I remember pulling down the screen in his parents' house and then downloading a pirated version of Sony Vegas, learning how to edit my very first camera, my very first like anything that I you know, I didn't know how to change the settings. It was just like a, a digital, you know, video camera. And so learning to edit and all that super fond memories. And then very shortly after that, October 11th of 2011, I uploaded my first movie review, which funny enough was under wraps, the original, of course, because this was in 2011 and before Disney butchered it. And that's just like a favorite of mine from when I was a child. And so it's very fitting that that was the very first movie review that I would do on this channel, followed immediately after by The Thing, John Carpenter, also very fitting for this channel, still a personal favorite of mine. When I can no longer force my friend to do skits with me and do reviews with me, I started doing more and more reviews on my own, as well as doing DVD and Blu-ray updates and collection updates. And the funniest thing is I look back at that time when I was uploading those videos and I just did it because I wanted to. You know, I was trying to get better. I was trying to set up cool posters in the background. I was trying to have good on camera presence, but I didn't, you know, wasn't looking at algorithms. I wasn't paying attention to at all views or, you know, watch time hours, subscribers. I don't remember even paying attention to subscribers at all. I never checked that. I never checked the algorithm or the, the numbers. I never checked any of that. It wasn't even in my mind. I just wanted to do it. You know, I wanted to do movie reviews. I wanted to talk to people. I wanted to make skits. I wanted to do these videos. And so it's crazy to think back to that time. I, of course, would like go into my comments and engage. I remember engage with people. And I remember like the horror community at that time was so cool because in my mind, of course, I'm reminiscing in YouTube at that time. At that time, I keep saying that. I'm going to say it a lot, but for me, it was a little bit different back then. There just weren't as many people doing horror movie reviews. So I got to know a lot of other reviewers and talk and chat with them. People were doing contests and they would like 
give away things and they were it felt like a nice cool community and i started to just really enjoy being a part of that talking to people in comments talking about movies of course you know there's some negativity always it's going to be there and i expected that but i just think about that time and that community that i built and how great that was and then i you know at some point it just became a little too much unfortunately i think life happens and you know i had nothing monetary going into youtube i never thought about getting monetized i never thought about views you know and i never thought about it i just wanted to make videos and so when life happens and you've got to work full time eventually at some point that takes a back burner i think i had to move also if i remember correctly and so i had to stop making videos i can't remember the year that i stopped making videos i could look it up I'm not sure but i definitely i look back and I, i'm upset that i stopped of course because i was now my metrics viewpoint looks back and I see I was gaining traction and I wish I hadn't stopped but you know it is what it is and I didn't get burnt out because I, I you know I just stopped and then I always had that itch to go back so years later I finally you know I thought maybe it's too late but I thought hey what the heck let's go back I tried again I wanted to start with something big so I did like a 31 days of Halloween was going to do a movie every day and that was of course just way too much to do so i didn't finish fast forward i think another year year and a half which is this maybe is now three years ago that i'm referencing i decided i wanted to do a 31 days of halloween again started up again again did not finish and you know time goes by fast forward a little bit I start getting into filmmaking more, start really becoming more passionate about video, you know, video making and learning about video and sound and actually filmmaking. And so I'm thinking, hey, you know what? I want to do this YouTube thing. And now I'm thinking, how am I going to get into video as a career and filmmaking as a career? How am I going to share my short films with people? So I just uploaded my short film, Sleepy Hollow. To this channel and you know it took off got quite a few views and i had uploaded a short film before that that i just like it was a one-off i just did it with my friend and i was like hey let's film a video real quick come up with a short film idea and of course that did nothing no one watched that but it was just something i wanted to do for practice sleepy hollow ended up getting you know at some point ten thousand views which was a big deal for me and so i kind of like about a year ago now made a decision that I was going to really put in time and effort and consistency into this channel. And so I did. I started doing as much as I possibly could with as easy of a barrier as I could. And that was the big goal for me. I wanted to make it easy enough that I could whip out a video quickly so that I was able to continually doing videos not make it too hard for myself so i don't make it like this big project you know i used to film a video and then i would take like all night to film it and then i would take days and days and days to edit it and it was just too much so i started doing two minute movie reviews as a way to force myself to be like hey i can do two minutes it may not be the best review in the world but i can whip it out i can do it i can do a review and i can be consistent and of course you know nobody's watching at that point and you know my audience is not huge now still i appreciate you so much for watching but i'm you know a thousand subscribers is not like a crazy number i i understand that but when you first are starting with the two minute reviews you know i'm getting like 10 views and that's okay at that point i was telling myself consistency i just wanted to consistently pump out videos as much as possible and get better at them each time as i went along and i made more and more videos and you know i had to deal with of course life working a full-time job still trying to make short films you know i made three short films this year which is amazing um that's like i'm trying to make more and more hopefully i'll make a couple more this year before the film is over or before the year is over and you know that's not including ones that i help on or doing other video projects so you know doing more and more every year just trying to get better every every month every week every year trying to get better trying to learn and then with each new review trying to find a new place to do it because life is changing you know i had a daughter which is amazing but 
She took my room, so I had to find a new location, which was the kitchen. That was not working. That's led us to where we are now, my home studio, which has been the setup for quite a few videos now, and I'm pretty happy with it for the moment. It works. It's pretty easy to set up and get a video done, but you know, as I started to do just more and more, I started to try to find a style, and I've always been one to, yeah, of course I watch reviews, I watch videos, how to grow your channel, all that, but in my core, in my heart, I always will try to be just me as much as possible, of course, and so I always try to like take that and channel it to a package that's palatable to an audience, to you out there watching so that it's somewhat enjoyable, but I'm still being authentically me, still talking about movies the way that I want to talk about movies. But as we go along, I'm learning more about lighting, learning more about sound, learning more about setups. And I know not every video is perfect. Sometimes the sound is messed up. Sometimes I forget something and I didn't say it right. Sometimes I repeat myself. Sometimes in editing, I leave stuff in there that wasn't supposed to be in there. But you know, when again, as I said, sometimes I'm up till three, four in the morning editing, trying to get a video out, and then I go to work. And this is all just to say, you know, this journey that I've gone on, forcing myself to try to do videos and do things that I, I really enjoy, trying to make videos that hopefully people will enjoy. Also, it's been a lot of work, of course, and it is a lot of work still, and it won't stop being a lot of work, but it gets a little bit more manageable the more I do, the more I go along, and the more that I see the support out there and people are enjoying my videos. On that note, I just wanna give a quick thank you and shout out to a couple of people who have been very supportive through this whole process. You know, my wife, of course, is super supportive and very helpful. My friend, my best friend who made my first videos with me, and my friend Leo, who's out there hopefully gonna watch this video at some point. And you know, I shouldn't send him my films when they're rough sometimes. I sent him my videos and I ask for feedback. He's always willing to watch them and also argue with me in the comments and argue with my opinions on movies. Also, Blu-ray display, he has a channel on here. I'm gonna link it in the comment. If you're interested in physical media and DVD, Blu-ray, 4K releases, Go check out his channel. He's always putting out new special edition videos and up-to-date things. Go check that out and stay up to date. He's been an early, early like fan supporter. One of my first people who was just, I saw coming in every video, watching, commenting, supporting, giving positive feedback and advice. And I really appreciate it. More recently, Omar Garcia. Uh, I think that's your new username. Hopefully I got that right. I've just been seeing you in the comments over and over again. I really appreciate the support. I'm sure there's a few others out there. There's a few names I've been seeing regularly comment and give me some you know, positive feedback and enjoying the videos. And I really appreciate you. So thank you so much for watching the videos, for hopefully enjoying them, engaging, commenting, talking to me in the comments and helping to build like a little bit of this community again that I used to have years ago. And you know, it just, it feels nice to see names pop up again that you recognize and it really feels like, okay, I've got a few people out there that we're sort of discussing movies together and it just feels so much more like rewarding when you can see, it's not just a stranger all the time, you start to get other people's taste, not everybody agrees and you're like, oh, okay, I understand like you're not gonna like this and you didn't like that review, you don't like that movie. And it just, it's nice to sort of start to build that community back again. Thank you so much for helping me get here. Thank you for tuning into every video. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for giving me constructive feedback and hopefully you will continue to get a lot of joy and entertainment out of my videos. And if you happen to have a channel of your own and you're trying to grow and you're trying to get there, Keep going, it's a lot of work. Perseverance, consistency is the most important thing. You just gotta push past all those barriers and eventually you'll get there. And by there, of course, I'm not trying to say that a thousand is some grand thing. I know it's not, but it is a big, it is a big momentous occasion. And you know, when you make it there, celebrate, enjoy it, take that moment, 
And thank you again so much for helping me get here. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you so much. Take care. I don't want scared. I'm a big bad wolf. Oh, I never see the silver line and only see the gold. I don't speak in cap star, everything bold. And I put that on myself because it's a life that I done chose. I said, come through. You can see me on the west side. Now it's funny how they walk